Archie, you've made 33 appearances for the club last season and you're only two games away from surpassing that this season in mid-January. Um, how, how pleased are you with, you with the progress you're making? Yeah, it's been very good. I think I've been involved in a lot of games this year and I think the position that we're in is, is what, where we want it to be. So hopefully come the end of the year and I play hopefully more games to be involved and then push for promotion basically. Um, do you feel you've improved as a player from last season and if so, what, what areas do you think you've improved on? Um, yeah, obviously, it, obviously it being my first year last year I learned a lot and I'm still really young and I'm learning all the time so yeah, I've definitely developed and obviously captain the side so it's been like different experiences that I've had and I've learned a lot from it, yeah, it's been very good. Uh, it seems like a fast learning curve as well, because every time you, time you play as a youngster in League Two, it, you, you learn from minute by minute, don't you? Oh yeah, it's it's a tough it's a tough league to play football in, and you just got to be resilient and grind it out really, and have a good mental strength. And I think the group that we've got here is like helps has helped me a lot, the players and that, and the staff has helped me. So yeah, it's going it's going it's going well. Um, looking from the outside, it seems like it's a tougher competition as well for the uh, central midfield spots this season. So you must be even more pleased that you, 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 you've got the appearances you have this season. Yeah, I mean, we've got great squad now, great depth in our squad, great ability in all over the pitch. So every game that I'm, I'm involved in, I'm very happy to be. And I'll try and do the best for, for the team on the day. Um, Exeter City when you look at the table, also suggests they've improved since last season. Um, what do you feel the club are be better as a team at doing this season that perhaps they, they won't last? I think on Saturday and the Cambridge game, I think the first half, the way we just grinded it out and we didn't concede a goal. And I think that was just, if that maybe happened last year, I don't know if we went in nil-nil, just mm. them kind of like moments just stick out. And I think we're just tight, tight and just think we're more resilient, basically. Um, and Exeter City now have the most clean sheets out of any of the sides in the top four divisions, so that kind of backs up that, that theory, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, 20 games left of the season, and uh, City is sitting second, six points ahead of third place. What are the keys going going to be to sustaining that push for an automatic promotion place this, this time round? Um, keep doing what we're doing. Keep just plugging away and keep working on on the training pitch. I think everyone's got to stay fit and ready. And I think just keep this momentum going and run that we're on at the moment. So I think we're going in the right direction. Just keep doing everything that we're doing and just keep staying on top of it. And I think the players that we've got, I think we will stay on top of it and hopefully get up there by the end of last season. Awesome. Um, touched on it briefly before, but you captained the side for the first time away at Cambridge United in, in the FA Cup um, this season. What did that mean to you? Oh, it meant everything. Growing up and playing for the academy every year, and then obviously giving that honour to the captain of the side was yeah, and see my family there it was, it was yeah, it was a great feeling. Um, how much um, did you seek any advice from the other players beforehand, and how much did they help you through that game as well? Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, like everyone's, they were so good, so I, f I can't thank them enough. And I think it's just that's the group that we've got here. So I think everyone's just wanting the same thing, and everyone's happy for each other when they do well. So I think that's just the, the atmosphere that we've got at this club, really. So it's just it's been really, really good. Um, and the Exeter City Academy prides itself on not only producing great footballers, but well-rounded young men and good leaders as as, as well. Um, is there anything from your time at the academy that, that helped you in terms of that day being captain? Um, I captained the side in the academy before, like under 16s or under 18s, a couple of times. So I think they just they prep you for that moment, and so they didn't prep you on the pitch and off the pitch as well. So I think the academy does all the right things, and I think it's just prepping you for that moment when you do need to fall back on a little something and remember it, it may be. So I just think, yeah, it's, it's a good academy, so they do all the right things and prep you well.
and we've got quite a few young players breaking into this first first team this season as well. How important is that character that they build in terms of making it able? Because obviously you've got to be skillful to make it as a player, but you've also got to have the right character, haven't you? Yeah, football can change like very quickly. You can be in the squad doing really well, and then you can be not be playing and be really down. So I think as a young player, you just got to keep your head and keep working day in day out because the moment will come if you're doing well and then when it does well you've just got to take it and then and, and just enjoy it because I think we have obviously got great young players coming through at the moment a couple come on on Saturday so I think we just got they just got to keep doing well and I'm sure they'll get their chance